Hey guys, I welcome you all to my channel. So in this video, we will learn about Leapers Tourism System. So it's a very popular model of tourism given by Neil Leaper in the year 1979. We often identify it by TGR, TDR and TRR, students of tourism. They all know it by TDR, TGR and TRR because Leeper was the one who has given the geographical element to the definition of tourism. Earlier, there were definitions of tourism involving person, tourist, his relationships with the destination, the host. Okay, so guest host relationships. We have definitions involving demand and supply, economics. Okay, statistical definition that we have from UNWTO or other organizations. Okay, but Leeper was the one who has incorporated in his definition and in his system the geographical elements that is why his tdr tgr and trr are very famous they got very popular and that's where we often mistake also because i have seen recently in a in, a, in an examination of pdu or uh, um, ugc net grf there was a question that how many elements are there in leapers tourism system and people got people uh, people answered three because that is what we know tdr tgr trr that is it got famous but if we study leapers tourism system there are there's more to it there are more than three elements these are just the geographical elements of the leaper system we also have two other elements that are human element that is tourist and industrial element that is tourism industry in fact leaper has defined this whole system as an open system where there are external factors also human factors, sociocultural factors, economical factors, technological, physical, political, legal, etc. All these external factors also affect the tourism system. This tourism system is a system that is an open system that interacts with external factors. We can call them pastoral factors also. That is an acronym we use very often for all these terms, political, economical, sociocultural, technological, environmental, and legal. We call these factors pastoral factors okay so there are pastoral factors maybe there's political legal issues there are more than there there are a lot of legal formalities they're not political you know relationships are not good between different countries so travel may get affected or there's physical conditions are not good maybe earthquake or floods have come up technological advancements also affect tourism economical conditions maybe currency is not currency is rate are not going well or economic conditions are not going well there's no much discretionary income with people so these all are the external factors that also affect travel behavior this was also also mentioned in the leapers tourism system so he has defined this system as a system where there are different elements that are interdependent and interrelated we have five elements one is the human element of tourist other is tourism industry the industrial element and then we have three geographical elements that are tgr traveler generating reason tdr tourist destination region region and transit route reason trr so these are the five elements so if you are asked what are the three geographical elements then these are the three geographical elements if you are asked how many geographical elements are there in leapers tourism system then there are three geographical elements but if you are asked how many elements are there in leapers tourism system then there are five different elements okay in which three are geographical one is tourist human element and other is tourism industry industrial element okay so let's understand this whole system by understanding each and every element one by one first we have tourist tourist is the person who travels and if we study a person a human then we always talk about his behavior okay and in case of tourism also person has a tourism behavior okay how he buys from where he buys okay maybe his price conscious his quality conscious okay so these are the behavioral attributes we also have motivation factors also what is he seeking what is persuasion 
persuasion him okay what is the persuasion factors we have different theories of travel motivation okay that will be discussed in different video some other video we have different theories of uh, blogs psychocentric allocentric or uh, grace wanderlust sunlust okay that we will discuss in some other video but here we can understand that motivations are the factors that persuade us to travel to take a trip so if i am looking for some relaxing holiday then i will seek some other type of travel but if i am seeking something adventurous something new to explore okay so then i will go for some other kind of services likewise my past experiences will also shape my travel choices last time i went for a holiday to a resort and enjoyed there a lot i relaxed i i had a great time i want to repeat that travel i in the coming holidays i will go back to that place okay i will get back to this that resort and i i will spend my holidays there again last time i visited i went on a road trip and it was very hectic i really didn't enjoy and i i got very tired so i will not again go for a road trip so that is how tourism experiences and behavior and motivations of a person shape the choice of travel other factor we have is tourism industry so it is about all the businesses and organizations that are involved in delivering the tourism product so all the hoteliers all the accommodation providers all the transport provider car rentals airline service providers airlines okay or the guides or the entertainment service provider theme park or shopping malls so all of them make the tourism industry now shopping malls are we have in different tourism products that are made specially for tourists or for residents but used by both we call them resident oriented products and tourist oriented products so tourism industry is the amalgamation of all those products providers all those service providers that a tourist have all the services a tourist have and the service providers would be called the industry okay then we have the geographical element tgr tdr trr so let's understand them tgr is the place where a tourist his trip begins and ends okay so generating reason from where person travel so place where from where the demand is being generated so it is the essentially the basis of an industry okay there's some person on which there are some push factors something is pushing him to take a tour maybe he has a lot of money he has a lot of discretionary income so he want to spend it on a holiday or maybe he is very busy his schedule is very hectic he is into 9 to 7 job so on a weekend he want to have a weekend getaway to nearby or nearby countryside peripheral areas of city okay or maybe he had some friends and relatives to visit he has some he has some religious obligations to do some spiritual gains he is seeking or health and medical you know services he want to have at some other location or he want to go for some training education purpose or maybe relaxation or simply he want to escape from the daily routine so he had some desire to go away so pull factors so push factors here we have in tgr the push factors that encourages an individual to move away from their home so what will he do he will get into two behaviors first is anticipation he will anticipate he will he will make perception about the holiday and he will seek information he will see some advertisements he will visit some information center and he will collect the information and make choices he will make choices he will go to tour operators ticketing operators he will buy himself a holiday he will buy himself a tour package okay and when he will return he will get into recollection so this is about he has bring some memories with him souvenirs with him that he will 
see and recollect all the memories he will share all the photographs pictures and videos with his friends on social media he is posting his experiences he is giving feedback to service providers okay he is giving ratings to different services he is reviewing the destination okay he is posting the reviews over internet so this is how tgr works tgr is the simply the place from where demand generates place from where person takes a trip or returns the native place of a tourist is called tgr then we have tdr the destination reason the place where the person is visiting in destination we have pull factors pull factors are the attributes of a place okay which pull a person towards it like awesome landscape events and activities unique activities marketing efforts of a place maybe he has seen an advertisement and he got fascinated about that place and in the next vacation he decides to visit that place history and culture is attracting him environment is attracting him image cultural resources amenities these are all the attributes of a place that can you know affect a person to visit that place like i said that a person is bored and he is planning his trip so where to go that will decide the pull factors of a place if a place is accessible he has less time then accessibility can also be a pull factor okay so landscape beauty attractions so in tdr a tourist will decide on the length of stay and activities he will perform and that he will decide based on the type of accommodation attraction and services shopping and food accessibility all those factors if a place has paragliding site in it you will do paragliding if it ha it doesn't have then you will not likewise if you mm, go for a place like we have agra taj mahal you will go and visit agra so for how long you will stay there so that is also the destination attributes that will decide your length of stay and your activities maybe shimla is a two nights itinerary manali is three nights itinerary so that is how the pull factors work the attractions of the destination attributes work they pull person and to a destination these are pull factors so destination reason of lipper's tourism system is the place where a person visit next we have route reason the intermediate point the transit route okay transit route reason we call it trr so it is the linkage between tgr and tdr we have stopovers in different airline flights like here we have a flight from ohar international airport in chicago to this is in russia from chicago to russia you have two stopovers one is at brussels and another is at vienna so you may decide at these stopovers to shop or maybe sightsee something okay nearby attraction you may uh, decide to visit or you simply stay at the airport and use internet and network services there so these are the transient destination these are not the final destination but you may stop there on a long haul journey and may decide to do some activities there so these are the intermediate places okay like where here we have different airlines and their popular cities where you can stop over like here we have emirates etihad airways so for emirates dubai etihad abu dhabi istanbul for turkish airways doha for qatar airways beijing for china air air china and singapore for singapore airways then we have hong kong for cathay pacific airlines kuala lumpur for malaysian and for iceland we have reykjavik tokyo for japan airlines so all these are the popular cities to visit for stopover okay for the airlines so different airlines have different stopovers okay where you can plan there's small period of time between okay where you which you can plan for shopping or for sightseeing or something okay so on a long haul journey you will often get some stopovers or it can be the transient destination and which you visit en route okay like you are visiting from uh, you know delhi to shimla and on en route you visit kasoli or on route you visit parvanu 
cable car or something so these are the stopovers not the final destination but the transit route so transit route is the route that connects tgr and tdr so this is the geographical region okay we are talking about here space and the accessibility so these are the geographical factors so i hope you understand leapers tourism system okay so it's an it's a system where we have different elements tourist the human element tourism industry the industrial element and three geographical elements TD, tdr tgr and trr so it is an open system where external factors also affect it okay so it is an open system a system that interacts with the outside system outer system and all the elements are interdependent and performs a single function and it is dynamic system it has human element it has geographical elements it has industrial element okay so that's about leapers model here you can understand through its diagrammatical representation tgr where there are push factors push factors are pushing a person to take a tour and he through transit route reason okay tra on transit route, route reason you will find different airports different railway stations okay different roads and pull factors are the destination attributes that pull people towards it that attracts people to visit that destination and there are some pastel factors outside in open system that also affect the whole tourism system so this is about leapers model the leapers tourism system very popular model and very important model for tourism i hope you understand and i hope you liked my video stay tuned to our channel keep watching our videos keep supporting us have a great day ahead